Hello and welcome to today's demonstration session. My name is Brian and I'm a solutions engineer with Wakato. For today's session, I'll be going through a use case in which we are going to integrate Aptus and Coupa. And the flow of the data would be from an Aptus agreement. We want, would like to create a Coupa contract and in the process also create all the related Coupa objects, for example, suppliers and supplier line items. So I'm going to start now. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create a new agreement in Aptus. So let's click on new agreement and select a particular record type. And we're going to fill in uh, the required information. So for the agreement name, let's put right. And for an account, let's select Flexi Labs and as for the start date, let's put somewhere in March and we would like to end it in April. Right? And we're going to hit save. So what this is going to do is it's going to go into Aptus and create a new agreement with the fields that we selected earlier. So now if I you know go in and search for this particular agreement name in Coupa, I should be able to see it. Alright, so now if I search for this particular name, contract name in Coupa, I see that, yep, the contract name is there, the supplier is correct, and the start and end date is the same as what we keep in Aptus. So what if I like to change any of the uh, fields that I filled in, in Aptus? For example, if the contract were to change, all I need to do is click on this button and edit the agreement. And so let's say if you want to change the end date now from being in April to somewhere in perhaps June. And I'll hit save. And right now I'm going to refresh this particular uh, Coupa page. Right. Let's click refresh. And I should see that yes, indeed, the expiry date has now changed to June which is exactly the same as uh, what we selected in Aptus. So the integration is actually working. So whenever we create a new agree or updated agreement in Aptus, we would actually push those changes into Coupa directly. Okay, so now that we understand how the integration looks like from the perspective of the apps itself, uh, let's take a look at how this was actually built out in Wakato. So what I have here is basically a screen from the Wakato platform showing a recipe. So a recipe is basically an integration workflow and it consists of triggers and actions. So right here for the trigger, I have a trigger that is uh, that will be triggered whenever there's a new or updated object in AIC. So let's click on this and see what's actually inside. So when I click on it, I'm actually presented with a screen that actually shows me you know, the objects in Aptus that I can actually get trigger on. So in this case for this recipe we use made we made use of the agreement object, right? But you could, you know, conceivably choose any other object down here and the recipe will also run in the same particular fashion. So once you have a trigger, you know, we're gonna based on the information in the trigger, we're gonna execute a series of actions to complete the integration workflow. So these actions can be creating, reading, updating, or even deleting objects in your external apps. So the way this recipe is actually set up, what we actually gonna do, what we actually did was to, based on the new updated agreement in Aptus, we actually went ahead and you know searched for the relevant suppliers in Coupa, right? Because and every agreement in Aptus should contain an account that has a related supply in Coupa. So we actually do a search for this, and then you know if the Coupa supply does not exist, we go ahead and create it, and if it does exist, we will update it. So once we've done that for suppliers, you know we're gonna do the same thing for the Coupa contract itself. So as we as we as we build out this integration, I mean we know that every single agreement in uh, Aptus should have a related contract in Coupa. So like for supply for the supplier's use case, we just you know search for the contract in Coupa using the uh, ID, external ID in Aptus. And then if the Coupa contract does not exist, we go ahead and create it. And if it exists, we just update it. So we just follow this logic 
for all the various objects in uh, in between Aptos and Koopa and that's how we actually built this recipe out. So as you can see it's really really simple to actually you know build out this recipe. Everything is can be done, you know, just drag and drop, no code involved. So you know I uh with that you know I like to you know conclude this uh, demonstration. Thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye.